not included where we are facing a few problems from the rust way I managed to set this place up uh, last time. Uh, one of the first things you'll notice, bam, we are having a stress issues. Now I can tell you if we come down here and have a look that um, fair enough we've got a, a total decor of minus 80 but if you have a look at the negative value um, tot up at the bottom underneath that, uh, 67 of that 80 is coming from the debris. So I feel like we need to do some uh, super super uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, focused. Super, super focused. That thing I'm really good at. Sweeping here. Uh, let's make sure that everything is got picked up from the places where we spend most of our time. That, that's kind of what we want to do here. Now, I also want to set something else up. Uh, if I get the storage compactor out and set it up on quite a high priority. Um, because I'm worried about the amount of stuff that we have led on the floor. And more importantly, the amount of algae that we have led on the floor. If anything goes wrong and a hatch ends up down here we'll start turning the algae into coal which is not the end of the world but it's not what I want so if I get this organic we'll go into algae here and I'm going to put it up to a nine so the moment any organ any algae is found it gets put into this storage compactor over here now I don't know if that means it's going to like favor putting it there over the top of the deoxygenizer I, d I don't know I do not know. Another thing that I want to do, uh, I'm going to disable this building. I'm going to deconstruct this building because if we have a look at this uh, carbon dioxide overlay, well, it's actually the oxygen overlay, but if we have a look at the carbon dioxide, you can see it's all building up in the corner there, and I don't like that. I don't like that at all. So what I'm going to do is get some cots out. We're going to put them... Uh, 10, 20, yeah, indeed. I'm going to make it out of granite. Make it just a little bit nicer and pop those two down like that. Ah, I, I knew you would do this. But I kind of like having a hatch around inside because if you have a look here, he gives us 10 decor just, just off the bat, just for being there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, K9, bam, get rid of those. Okay, that, that should be pretty good. So we're going to let these guys going around and doing some stuff. You can also see that we've got a little bit of problem with the microbe musher over here. It's not really a problem. We've got a food shortage. That's what I want to point out. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into consumables. I'm going to stop them eating mill lice because it is a waste, a waste for them to eat. You lose about a thousand, thousand calories every time someone meet, eats something that's not millwood. Okay, so that's that's like the major mistakes that I had made that I wanted to fix up. You can see that all the uh, the wires are getting put in place and stuff like that. The next thing I want to do is down in here. Now you can see that we've got this automatic control system. This is what I want to start working towards. The problem is we've not learned how to do. Uh, the, the, the super cool research. So we're, we're going to get on with doing that as well, as we have already got the interior decoration and stuff like that. And also, when we get the automatic control, it also gives us power regulation, which is a good good place to get started, you know? Um, when these two get built, and we're nearly at the end of the night, so I'm not going to... Uh, you know what? I'm, I want to prioritize these pretty high pretty high there shouldn't be too many things on the nine that really need to be taken care of here no indeed there's not that's cool uh, we're also going to bring in a new dude today i'm not sure who that's going to be exactly but we will try and bring that in uh on on theme for those of you that were not um aware of the theme you can see up here we are living in la look La Nova de Mort, that is the Death Star, you know, the Star of Death. Um, and what, who have we got here? Well, we've got Krennic. He's the guy out of Rogue One who um, uh, who took ownership of it, if you will, of the Death Star. Um, who then uh, Tarkin came along and took it off of Krennic. I'm sure you guys remember that. Piet is the guy in the original trilo trilogy um, who Darth Vader keeps killing all his superior officers, and he's the guy who keeps getting promoted and eventually dies in the Death Star. Because, you know, that's where everyone dies. And this guy, I mean, he's just an officer. I, I just happen to know that he is an officer that kicks around. Okay, so the problem I've got right now is the food issue. Um, and I believe, actually, if we just wait. Yeah, look at that. The, it, it, this should be an issue that solves itself. Uh, so I'm going to wait a couple of cycles just for them to go around, tidy stuff up, get some... Uh, get some research on the go and I'll bring you back when we're doing something different okay we have researched ourselves the advanced computers also I have noticed that this guy is going around eating all my stuff I, I'm not keen on that if we could uh, kill him as soon as possible that'd be pretty good it also gives us a bit of meat for someone to eat so that's pretty cool uh, people have been getting in a lot of scrapes a lot of trouble so I think up here might be the place where we think about building our medical bay now you can see up here to make a medical bay we need a whole list of things we need toilets and tables and medical beds and stuff like that now the tables they speak of uh, are in fact 
these, oh, it's, it's not even in here, oh wait, is it furniture, uh, these mess tables, yes indeed, and these are the ones we've got to work towards if we want that to happen, also I was clearing out some space, if you're wondering where that hatch was coming from, I was clearing out some space for a super duper kitchen that we're going to have here, it turns out I put these in totally the wrong spot, um, I would like to have a kitchen area here, we'll have med bay, actually no, let's have research here and then med bay above that, because the med bay is not, a, not an often used thing, and we can probably, yeah, let's put a super computer there, there, a research station over here. I think it would make sense to break this here and have power on this side. Let's, let's try that. Let's have a manual generator over here with a battery either side of it. Now this is probably not the, the nicest way of having things laid out, but I, I think we can live with it. So if we do this and then this and this and this, that should make everything A-O-K -okay for us. If I also come in with the X and break down some power wires, I uh, should be able to go from there to there. I think I think that'll do it for us. I think that'll do it for us. You can see we're putting down all the copper there. That is exactly why I killed that hatch, because I, I don't want I don't want him stealing stuff. So we're gonna have ourselves a brand new science area. Do I wanna put the door? I wanna put the door there, I think. That just kind of sits well with me. We'll dig up there and across and down and of course we're going to be building up on top of it again. Maybe up here would be somewhere to put the medical bay? Uh, I'm not sure about that. How is this food going? The food has been selected and Tarkin is going on and making more food. So I'm going to make, I'm going to choose a new duplicate. Yes indeed. And who are we going to get? We've got a slow learner but Twinkle Toes. Twinkle Toes are pretty good. Quick learner Twinkle Toes and a bit of a mouth breather um, and germ resistance with noodle alarms. I'm, I'm not too keen on these ones, especially as I've packed them all in quite close together to begin with. So I think we'll probably be going for this guy here. He his name is Harold, but no, no, we are not going to call you Harold. We're calling you Cassio. Um, oh, man, really? It's the I button. It's the I button definitely does it. Uh, tag? Taj? Tag? Tag? I'm not sure how you, if you if you know how to pronounce that properly let me know I know that the, the first name but uh, uh, this guy was one of the officers who was in the meeting hall when Tarkin and Darth Vader in episode 4 A New Hope were announcing the dissolution of the Imperial Senate if you're wondering who that guy was. The real question, of course, is with this extra person, do we actually have the edibles to keep moving? I, I kind of hope so. I as I said, I did work it out to be six plants for five uh, five dupes whilst using the microbe mushroom, but things never quite work out exactly, do they? There's always a little bit of waste somewhere along the line, or things don't get moved through the system quite as quick as you would hope. Is this where all my copper's going? Is it literally just for copper? I mean, that's, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Making down our science station over here, so yeah, I suppose I will be bringing you back when this science station gets going. We've still got loads of food kicking around. I think I would like to clear this place out at some point as well totally didn't forget to set a research up. Um, uh, we were going to go for automatic control because I think we can get through the power regulation whilst we're on just the single little research station here and then these guys should come along and make some more stuff. Food shortage still? Really? Are you, are you kidding there? I really thought we had this going well. I mean, to be fair, this guy is just about to turn over. It looks like this guy is as well. And then these are half a way through, which is only a cycle and a half on their growing cycle. So um, that, that, that should be alright. Cycle and a half of real time, if you, if you will, of asteroid time, of Death Star time. Krennic, what, what, what are you doing up there, buddy? You're not, you're not supposed to be all the way up there. Get down. Get, like, you, there's a bed for you over there. Oh, let's, uh, let's also get rid of these while we're, but like, th there's a bed over there. Why, why aren't you using the bed, man? Why aren't you using the bed? All right, all right. Other people are getting stuck up there as well. I suppose it's time to start digging our way out. Oh man, it's that's painful. That's painful. What well, what's going on with the oxygen flow here? Not too bad. We could probably do with a little bit more up in the bedroom over there. Uh, I'm not sure if there's anything in particular that we can do about that. I mean, obviously the way to do it, uh, the way I would prefer to do it, would be with the airflow tiles. No, that's a mesh tile. Where, where's my airflow tile? I know you're here somewhere. Ventilation airflow tile. Um, so we could let like the carbon dioxide fall down towards. Salgaterrarium, yeah, like just having these two and these two. That, that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. But until then, I'm going to have to try and figure out another way of making the oxygen flow. Um, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. 
Okay, so I've noticed that my uh, oxygen has not been pumping out for a little while here. So what I've had to go and do is turn this storage compactor down to a six. Still means it's quite important to come and put the algae away. But I'm also going to put these um, algae deoxygenizers up to nines to make the oxygen one of the most important things to keep on top of. Because, you know, it's a little bit scary when we start running out of oxygen. I'd, li I'd like to keep these guys breathing, you know? Uh, I, I can't exactly have a fully armed and operational battle station without uh, without oxygen. I mean, could you imagine? <laughs> that would be pretty funny if all the stormtroopers were actually running around in uh, uh, vacuum gear as well. Oh, that that would be actually quite quite hilarious. Uh, do you think we need to kind of dig through here? I think we might need to just open up the space up top. I would put a oh food shortage. That's that's unfortunate. I've also noticed. Look, we we got food growing down here. I don't know whether I want to dig my way down there to go get it. Same with up here. Like, I mean, like there's a lot of food up here, including balm lilies and bris bristle blossoms, bristle blossoms. Uh, pinch of peppers, all sorts of... Oh, I clicked outside my screen. All sorts of stuff to go and have a look at. So um, may maybe we'll get digging. Uh, super worried about germs still. I mean, this is pretty getting pretty close. This uh, food poisoning here is something to keep an eye on. Uh, the outhouses are doing all right, though. Uh, yeah, I, th I think all in all, we're doing pretty well. Just kind of ticking over. We're about to run out of power, though. Uh, and that's because I've done a, a ridiculous sweep on a stupidly high... Um, priority setting here, but th this will get cleared up and then they'll get back to work and do all the things that they need to do. Speaking of, we need to set this guy up to at least a, a level a 7, and when the batteries are about halfway empty, they will come along and fix it, I, I hope. Fix it, refill them, I mean, what words do you want me to use here? Also though, look at the stress. We started with the stress today up at 50 odd. Uh, all we did was sweep up and people are chill. Like, all, literally all you need to do is give people a clean environment to live in and they will be happy with it. Uh, here we go, we've got Fermius Piet uh, coming along and doing the work. What was wrong with that? What, what was wrong there? Oh, you needed to eat. Okay, well, fair enough. I'm also giving thought to putting a ladder system across there. Let's uh, let's give that a go. I'm going to go in on the 7 and just do that. Uh, just so people coming in and out of here can run all the way across the food. Because that, that's why they want to go across the top there, is just for food. It's calling a food shortage. Well, I call liar on that. Also, we get to put another duplicate in. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We'll have to uh, think long and hard who we're going to put in next. Because we're having food shortages, we want to get some more... Uh, more farms on the go I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're going to seal this off here and then we're going to have a bristle blossom farm up top I think I think that's the way we're going to do it now bristle blossoms very picky about the situation they live in and if we have a look here you can see it's actually quite warm over this side so I'm not sure if that's the thing we've got to watch out for or not speaking of quite warm is that actually losing? You can see this is 199.5 kilograms, whereas this one's 200. And I'm wondering whether that's because of the heat or not. Whether it's um, emitted some oxygen because it's hot. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's something to bear in mind. Something to bear in mind. We'll, we'll keep an eye for the future, right? None of these are getting taken care of because everything else is much more important. Uh, but there we go. Take... Casio, I'm going to call him Casio, doing the work here. Okay, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I'll bring you guys back when we're... Oh, actually, now I was about to say when we're working on the next thing, but I suppose we could technically get going with the med bay right now. Uh, this is still getting worked on, but where is meal preparation? That That's, that's kind of the one we need to work on. Um, it gives us the farm tile which can be irrigated but more importantly gives us the mess table i'm looking at this power irrigation i'm going now nah, whatever I don't, I don't i don't want to do that actually i do not want to do that speaking of i think i'm going to deconstruct this you know things that i don't really want to do uh deconstruct this also try and get that wire if i can we'll deconstruct that um okay that is looking pretty good whilst we're here let's have a look at the uh, general energy layout energy there right we are popping topping out at 480 that that's plenty plenty low plenty low uh whilst we're here let's also check this we are topping out at 220 oh that that's even better we could put a lot 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 more into that system I notice we've got polluted water laying here, but this is up at a nine. What's what's going on with that? Can we get you swept up at the highest priority, please? That that would be great. Thanks. Cheers. Uh, you need to be destroyed, man. Yeah. Get get wrecked. Get wrecked. Okay, the wrecking has been rucked. That's that's pretty good there. Uh, we've got some more power coming in here. This is mainly because of the ceiling lights, but I think also the research as well. Uh, whilst we're here, let's get out a couple of med beds because we, we need to do these. Now, I also need a toilet. 
Let's have a look up here in the room overlay. You can see here that we need to make it a minimum size of 12 or a maximum size of 96. Now those are big, well, I mean 12 is not a big number, but 96 is a big, big, big number. Like a really big number. This one here, let's have a look, it's 4 high by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16, 4, 16 is a 64? Is that right? Yeah, about that, 64. I should know my powers are two a lot better than that. But that, that that's 64 right there. That's not even close to 96. So we could go one higher and still have a lot of room. Uh, now, I want to have in here an outhouse. We need to have an outhouse in the in the med bay. It is, it is a must. It is what, one of the things that they require. Uh, I'm also going to go along and just kind of cut out the general shape here. I'm also wondering, should, should we... Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's get a tile going up there cross like this. Now, obviously, we're going to have trouble making the top of this, but I don't think it matters. I think that as long as we're surrounded by rock, we'll do okay. Now, <coughs> excuse me. I don't know about you guys, but I am filled with the want to put this outhouse behind a door. The problem is, if you do that, it separates it off, and then you can't can't use it as a med bay anymore, which, which is ridiculous, if you ask me. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, so, we want med beds, and next to every med bed, we want to be able to put down a, um, a table. Table, yes, indeed. You, you ask what table, it is, of course, the mess table. Something like that. That looks like a good, good layout right there. I'm, I'm going to give it the... Um, the old priority sevens to see if people come along and finish this. Hopefully food should be a higher priority and oxygen. Food and oxygen higher priorities. The power is exactly the same priority. So we're just going to let this tick over like this and try and get our med bay up and running because, you know, that's quite important. I don't know how you guys feel, but I think it's quite important. So I just noticed on the way in a few people did not wash their hands, but unfortunately, I also watched Tarkin actually wash their hands, but they're covered in germs right now. That's, that's a bit weird. Half-Life Infinity Cycles. I, I wonder what's going on. Does, does food poisoning just live? No, that's the... Oh, wait, wait. What? Why, why, why is Tarkin not killing stuff with their own immune system? I'm not... You see, like, dying on solid... I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Tarkin, you. I need to have a look at you. What What's going on? You're chilly, you've got soggy feet like wound. You're not having a good day, are you? You're not having a good day. But more importantly, yeah, why? Why? I, I'd like to find out at some point. Can we... We need to isolate the kitchen. Ah, yeah, look. Lice loaf has... Oh, oh, okay. All right, let's medicine wash basin. Let's put one of those there and one of those there. Ah. Ah, we have a problem. Yes, indeed, we have a problem. Okay, I'm going to try and work this out by moving the, st <laughs> moving the storage compactor over to the other side if we can. Let's deconstruct this one. Uh, and then also, whilst we're at it, let's deconstruct this lot here as well. That should hopefully leave us enough room to pop down a wash basin. Maybe? I don't know. Yeah, here. This is this is the side the wash basin needs to go on. And we'll, we'll try and figure out how to make this work for the situation we've got. I, I just need to get on top of the whole not having food poisoning thing. I, I don't want people to be, like, suffering from food poisoning. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. The research has not been done at all. Not not at all? I mean, we are on sixes rather than sevens. Is, is that, that something to do with it? I think it might be. I think it might be. Uh, these guys go. Oh, of course, this is all on seven here, so they're not going to start researching until the sevens are done in this area. But, you know, we are done, pretty much. There's one there. But if I go and have a look up here. Oh, oh of course, it's missing. Oh, possible types latrine or bed bay. It's missing the either a wash station or a table. Look at that. So if we put a table in here, this suddenly becomes a, a latrine. Interesting. Yes, very interesting. Okay, we can work on that at some point, I think. Um, yeah, I mean, actually, what we need to do is get these guys researching. So I'll be back when that happens. Okay, we're slowly building up lice loaf stocks here. I, I knew it would be a thing that happened because uh, we got like double the number of plants that I thought we would need. Um, so we could probably think about getting our next guy on, and I'm not sure who we would take here. Oh, oh germ resistance always good. Uh, uncultured interior decorator. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure, but we will think long and hard. If anybody has a preference to those, I mean, you can just go back and pause it and see what they were all capable of. Uh, this I want to have up nice and high because it, people are going to. 
spend some time here. And unfortunately, it's not the nicest looking place in the world. Uh, I, I wish I'd done like personal expression as a thing. Oh, we're at, almost out of briar seeds as well. Uh, briar plant's pretty cool. Pretty cool. That nine was probably not the best one to set that up at. But whatever. We're, we're going to make sure it works anyway. Uh, it clears everything out. And ooh, I mean, are we running out of room? I think we are actually full on running out of room. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, well, that's a thing. We'll start thinking about putting another storage space, maybe up high rather than down low. But there we go, research complete, and that was the one we've been waiting for. Uh, right, I'm going to go back onto automatic control, and the reason that we have been waiting for this is, of course, the fact that we need to put down no, in the furniture mess tables. Here we go. I'm only going to put two down, despite the fact of being three, mainly because I don't want to put one next to the toilet here. Speaking of, I think I actually want to put a little wash basin down there. I don't know whether that's actually going to help help in any way shape or form but it just it seems like a good idea have a sink between your sick people and the toilet maybe it would have been a good idea to also have another one here but uh, there we go we'll, we'll just make do with that we are we're isolating a lot of places uh, now that that table's down oh yeah there we go that is what we we're waiting for so of course it is just the mess table that you need if you are wondering what you need for the med bay these are the things like toilet uh, Toilet, med bed, and mess table. That's, that's it. That's all you need. Lights, decorations, everything like that. Optional. Optional. Changed my mind. As much as I want to go for the automatic control and get that in there nice and early, I need to get this artistic expression going. Uh, actually, no, I don't. I was thinking that my people were getting stressed, and that's that's not what's going on. I seem to have got on top of the stress just by sweeping up. And generic sensors and stuff like that, definitely something I would like. Well straight away let's have a look what we've got here we have of course got the, the oldie big battery and a power switch and stuff like that and in here we have the farm tiles which is what i've been waiting for before we make the next section on our farm here uh, i want to isolate not like that i want to isolate the farm from this other one here uh, ideally i would be using insulated tiles but i don't appear to have any right now so i mean that's okay that's the way life goes sometimes you have the stuff you want sometimes you don't you just need to make do and make the best of what you've got right make the absolute best uh let's also quickly isolate this room off and think about the sort of size we want it um because i do believe if i remember correctly that we can actually put farm tiles in the floor not enough materials for farm tiles are you kidding okay so let's try this c across like that is that is that just the, the route i want i think it is i think it is so let's have a look uh farm tile do this and then we can pump some water in there at some point that that's that's the important bit here is that i don't actually have water sorted so i'm not sure how we're going to get it straight up there but bristle blossom is the way forwards there so we can get more food expand our, our kitchen make everything lovely and varied i suppose is the word i'm looking for here Okay, whilst we're here, let's put this briar seed down because it, it, it's, a, it's a little bit dank in here. I mean, people don't really like it that much and it'd be nice to clean this up. Speaking of, I would really like this lot to get cleaned up if at all possible. I don't know um, if you guys are... Oh, look, look, there's a bit, bit of dirt right here again. I keep cleaning up the doorways. It's the, it's the, bit, the only bit that really irritates me. It's when there's dirt in the doorway and it keeps getting opened and closed like this one right here. Ah, be gone with you. Be a gone with you. Everything else can kind of just stay there. But they are definitely the things I need to deal with. Uh, I've got a feeling that when we build this, I'm probably going to be at the end of my episode. I honestly have no idea how long this episode is. I've been recording for about 40 minutes, but I've not been talking for quite a bit of that. And now it may be that I've been talking for a lot more than I realise, and we've already run past the half an hour mark, and that would be... Not bad, but not ideal. Not exactly what I want. Thinking of, let's have a look here. We've still got food on the microbe musher, but thankfully it's uh, not food. Food poisoning on the microbe musher, but thankfully it hasn't come through. Is it actually on the microbe musher? No, it's only down on these lice loaf here. Um, there's more being made, but there's no change on genetic ooze. Okay. Well, I suppose that's a thing. I suppose that is a thing. Uh, food is still going down well as well. Okay, that, that, that's pretty cool, actually. That is pretty cool. For such a small place that we've got going, uh, we're doing pretty well. Pretty well. Okay, we got automatic control. Now, this does mainly... Uh, let's have a look. Automation. We can't build anything because we don't have refined metal. Uh, so, 
That seems like the thing we need to work towards next. Now, there are two ways of re refining metal. And let's have a look down here to see if it's any amongst them. This lot? No, it's got to be from this. Oh, no, that's refined objects. Where Where is the metal refinery? Oh, wow, it's all the way down here. Okay, so I might have an idea on how we can refine metals without having to use the metal refinery here. But to do that, we're going to need to start shunting various types of heat around. So we need to start thinking about these earlier earlier um, researches here. I think I'm going to go for the pressure management first, mainly because I want that door and that uh, airflow tile. And then we'll start talking about filtration and air systems. Definitely the ones to be working on after that. But I think with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure. I will see you guys next time when we're going to do things like work on the bristle blossoms. Make sure that the med center is up and running. Well, to be fair, the med center is up and running. We go around and cure my guys. Uh, is any of them? Yeah, we've got like an 80 to Tark in here definitely needs to get themselves nice and chilled out. Let's do that, in fact. Uh, and I will see you when we're going to do that. Bye!